Today we're going to show you how to replace your Interpac RC102K seal kits. Grade A Tools part number is a GAT-SK102K and comes with your blue seal, your snap ring, your wiper, your two brass compression washers, and your brass spacer. If you'll notice the seal is blue, you want to be cautious for those orders that you may see on, or those seal kits that you may see on eBay that are different color or even come from China. You may, may want to steer away from those because the money you save on those seal kits, you'll be replacing that seal every six months or a year using those Chinese made seal kits. For this video, you will be using the following tools a flat blade screwdriver, a spanner wrench, a pick, an allen wrench, and your spring return spring removal tool made by Grade A Tools. All these part numbers for these tools will be available at the end of the video. You'll also need to have your Teflon tape, and your Teflon tape will be used to re, uh, re coat your whatever fitting you may have. You'll need a little bit of hydraulic oil or lube when you go back together. For this video, we're going to use an RC1010 inner pack rim as our victim. The first thing we want you to notice is that when you take off your coupler or your hydraulic fitting, you'll have a screw down in here which holds your spring, the return spring in. And this is the tool that we will be used to do to take that off. This tool and an Allen wrench, some of these may be a flathead screwdriver when you take that off. To remove your return spring, we're going to use our Grade A Tools return spring tool, removal tool. You're going to put it in at this direction. You're going to turn it 180 degrees. We'll put a little pressure down on it here, and then you're going to take your screw out. Turn it upside down, the screw will fall out. You're going to pull your wrench your tool out, and now the spring has been released. Now you will turn the ramp up. Then pull it out. And now you're going to take your retaining ring off using your spanner wrench. Once the retaining ring has been removed, you will pull it up and then you will inspect your housing for scratches or anything that may cause this ram to be replaced. Now we're going to replace your O seal. First thing we're going to use is your pick. The pick we will use to open your snap ring and to remove it. Well, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to remove your old seal. your brass washer or brass spacer and then you have these brass bushings you need to be clear that the brass bushings are beveled on one side the bevel has to go down and you have two of those in some cases this may be a single piece The next thing that you're going to do is you're going to slide your other spacer up. Remember, this is beveled and the bevel comes up. And then you're going to remove your brass threaded retaining ring. Once we have that done, we would take all of these items and clean it with your brake fluid or your carburetor cleaner 
and clean the item thoroughly. If your seal is not disintegrated, like this one wasn't, what you would do is you would spray this out real good with your carburetor cleaner. If your seal was disintegrated and up in there, you would remove this in here, take your spring out, and you would use a copper washer to replace that. If your seal is not de 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 has disintegrated, you're going to be fine and you will not need to replace that. So now that we've done everything and we've cleaned it up, we're going to reassemble your hydraulic ram now that it's been cleaned up. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to install your brass spacer, your other two bevel or uh, curved spacers. Remember, they're going to go down and the next one's going to go down and you're going to make sure you make them opposite so that the two grooves are separate. Next thing that we're going to do is we're going to add our brass spacer. Then we're going to put in our seal. Then we're going to put our snap ring on it. And then we're going to take our brass threaded spacer, or I mean a uh, threaded nut. We're going to remove the old wiper. This is a wiper and not a seal. We're going to replace the, the new with a new wiper, making sure that it is curved and making sure it's in the right direction. We have that together. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to bring over our cylinder. We're going to turn this up. going to put a little lube on the seal. Take a little lube and we're going to put it inside on the cylinder. Put it in and it, it, everything will drop right down to the side. Next thing that we're going to do is we're going to take our spanner wrench. Once it is tight, you don't want to over tighten it, you want to snug it. Then if you're using your adapter, you'll go ahead and screw your adapter back in. And then the last thing that we have to do, once you have finished overhauling and reinstalling your parts, the way to bring this tool back and reinstall the screw, you're gonna take your tool you're going to run a screwdriver through it so that you can reach in and pull the spring back. Once you have pulled in and reached the spring back, you're going to take your tool here and you're going to press down on it. And then you're going to turn it until it's in this position. Once it's in this position, you're going to push down on the handle, drop your screw in, Tighten it back up, remove your tool, tighten it real nice and neat, reinstall your hydraulic coupler, and you're ready to go.